and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about property taxes for seniors. We're here today with Missouri State Representative Kevin Corlett. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And we're here, you can see behind us, in the World War I Museum, and we appreciate them letting us be here today. Okay, so you are going to be filing a bill that would put a cap on property taxes for seniors. So talk about that bill and, and talk about who would this apply to? Is it all seniors or? Yes, yeah, what, what this bill would, would do would put a cap on property taxes for seniors so that their property tax could not increase any more than a percentage of increase that they might receive from Social Security. And uh, in this year, in particular, the Social Security has announced that for 2016, there'll be no cost of living increase adjustment. And so it is affecting seniors, particularly those who are on fixed incomes. Um, in fact, in, in Missouri, we've got about 6 million seniors and uh, approximately 30% of them are, are considered by the U.S. Housing Department to be cost burdened. What that means is they, they spend more than a third of their income on housing, or more than 30% of their income. So you can imagine if, if more than 30% uh, of your income uh, goes towards housing, um, and uh, again, about a third of those seniors also um, receive more than a third of their income from Social Security payments. So you can imagine if, if, if that income does not increase at all, and yet your property taxes would go up and you're on that fixed income, that can, that can hit a senior uh, pretty hard. And I've heard from a number of seniors in our uh, district who have, who have called and, and asked about, if the, is there something that we can do? Right, so, and counties would have a choice, right? Whether they implement it or not, talk about that. Right, in terms of, uh, it, one of the things that you'll get back with a measure like this is, or pushback on is, is how it will affect the local uh, county and I'm, I'm cognizant of that and so what my bill will provide is that a county can opt in or in other words we'll put the framework at the state level but the, it will be subject to the approval of the county commissioners and uh, it, whether they want to implement it for their citizens. So I'm sure you've probably done the math on this or maybe you haven't yet. How much, how much money would this mean fewer dollars coming in to support state services? Well, uh, in terms of the, the exact amount, I, I don't have a figure on that, but the thing to keep in mind about this is that this is a cap, it's not a reduction. Mm. And so, in other words, we're not taking away any taxes that, that are already there. We're just saying that uh, from, from this point forward, for those people uh, that, are, that would be qualified under the bill, their property taxes could not go up any higher. And there is, uh, to, to also, deal with some of these things such as uh, impact to, to, to government. Uh, we do have a means test that's going to be involved and that will be at approximately about $75,000. So I'll work with my colleagues to find a good amount on that. Right. But it would be about $75,000 of, of adjusted gross income right. that this would apply for seniors who are below that level okay. and, also, uh, and also those that are, are disabled. I didn't mention that. but also for disabled persons, uh, they would qualify under this uh, bill as well. So I'm sure you've gotten feedback from lots of folks um, and, and tell me what they're telling you about this. Well, uh, from our, our, our seniors are, are very appreciative of it. Um, I've talked to a number uh, in, as I've walked in our neighborhoods and uh, in, in Clay and Platte County where, where I represent in the Kansas City area. Um, they are interested in, in seeing this go through. The thought is that if government thinks that they cannot, that, that seniors can get by without any increase, then maybe we should have government live by that same standard as well. All right, wish we had more time to talk about it. Thanks a lot. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you for being Appreciate here. It. And thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.